Hi everyone, trainer Amy Jo here, and today we're going to do a first trimester workout. Ready to join me? Let's go! Okay, so as you guys know, I am working on baby number three. I have two boys working on the third one. We get to find out soon if it's a boy or girl. I'm really excited. Uh, so I wanted to put together uh, quite a bit of videos for you guys to follow along. For those of you who are planning on becoming mothers, if you're first time mothers right now, if you're beyond me and you're on baby number five, uh, we can all um, share together and learn from each other. So I just wanted to share a few of my tips, a full body workout, um, safe, effective, for uh, first trimester. So let's do it. All right, so first exercise, I'm gonna use a kettlebell. Um, kettlebells are awesome. They are um, not that expensive. They are space savers and you can um, use them at home um, and a lot of different exercises you can use them with. So the first exercise I wanna do is a combo. All right, this is gonna be more of like a plie squat. Okay, good for building the hips, range of motion. And then we're gonna add a pull at the top. So I'm gonna do 10 of these. Really good for increasing hip strength, glute strength, leg strength for labor. You're gonna, you know you're gonna need that. Whew. And a few more, three, upright row, two, and one. Okay, second leg exercise. We're gonna do a reverse lunge. I'm gonna hold my kettlebell in this arm and then reverse lunge back and tap up at the front. Reverse lunge. I'm gonna do 10 on each leg. Eight, reverse lunge, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, two, last one. Good. If you can't go that deep, that's okay. And also the balance, I've noticed, totally changes when you are pregnant. You all of a sudden can't stand on a straight line. So take your time on these and make sure to breathe. If you need a second, take a second to breathe and then jump back into the exercise. Three more. Two, last one, and one, good. Those are two great exercises using a kettlebell. I have a 25 pound here, um, but those are two great ones to utilize. Um, and man, you can use, do so many exercises with kettlebells. Even if you have a 25, 35, 45, it's all you would need. Okay, so the next one, I'm gonna do a side squat. This is gonna come up over my head. Okay, so I'm gonna go side to side, mixing up the angles on the legs. Side tap, going again, I'm gonna do 10, four, five, make sure to breathe. Six, that heart rate jumps up a lot faster than when you're not prego. Five more. So slowing things down taking breaks when you need it, do it. Two more, two, last one, one. Good, I'm gonna even it out, other side. 10 on this side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep breathing, four, keep those airways open, chest up, Three, two more, two, last one. Good, great job. Up and over, okay. We'll use that in a second. We're gonna go to the stability ball. So after those first three exercises, I would go a second round and probably a three round, just depending upon your endurance, your stamina, um, you can extend to three or four rounds on that. So that's kind of the leg circuit, the leg piece, uh, getting the heart rate up, as you can tell, I am. Um, and, uh, and then we can move into some upper body 
uh, seated exercises. Okay, so I have a set of tens right here, a set of dumbbells. I'm gonna do a combo, um, a bicep curl, shoulder press. I like using the stability ball. And trust me, the stability ball is actually awesome. Once you have baby, you can bounce and hold baby. So that's a great um, little investment for when you have baby. Okay, so you'll use it now, but you'll really use it in nine months or six months, however far along you are now, all the way up. So bicep curl, shoulder press. I'm gonna rotate and do a narrow press. Bicep curl, so I'm gonna do 10 of these. Five more. Five, curl, four. Make sure to be posture up, sit up tall. Three, curl, press, two. Last one, curl and press is one. Awesome. Okay, let's just use one now. So we're gonna target the shoulders, a front raise. Okay, posture up, and you're just gonna go just above the forehead and back down. So we'll do 10 of these. This is great, just coming off of your leg exercises, it lets the heart rate come down a little bit, being seated. So combining exercises that are gonna be heart rate driven and then give you a little break, it's important to plan a good workout like that. Three more, three, two more, squeezing the shoulders, last one, and one, excellent. Okay, then I'm gonna do a back exercise. So I will do a third exercise and then I would put it in a tri-set. So I would uh, go around, probably do two or three sets of these three. So this is the third one. So I'm gonna go back to my barbell and I'm gonna do an underhand grip, bent over row. Okay, so bend over here and you're pulling into the stomach. Big stretch down, pull into the stomach, squeeze, pull the shoulder blades back, roll your shoulders back and pinch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more, two, last one, and one, good. There's a few great um, back exercises um, that also you're laying on your stomach, laying on a bench or at a gym that maybe there's a pad that you sit on. Um, I found I can't breathe when I do those. It's pressing against everything and pressing against my stomach and um, I can't do those anymore. So this is a great replacement for that. Uh, yes, you're bent over, um, but if you uh, are going a good weight, and you're performing you know, the proper form, uh, you'll feel it in your back and you won't feel like some, anything's compressing against your lungs so you can't, you can't breathe. So I would do the uh, bicep curl, shoulder press, the front raise, and then go into the back exercise as well. I perform that about two to three rounds, like I said, depending upon your stamina, your endurance, your level of fitness before you got pregnant, this now um, would be a great routine, maybe one round and you're tapping out. Um, that's okay, it's, it's all about uh, increasing the heart rate, being healthy and putting baby first. So thanks for joining me, you guys. Um, congratulations to any of you out there who are watching and are pregnant as well. Um, I'd love to join in your journey. Comment below, um, follow me on social media if you'd like. I'm gonna be sharing a lot about um, what I eat, a little exercises along the way, and uh, obviously fun memes. Who doesn't love fun memes about being huge and pregnant and everything touching? Um, so it's gonna be a fun journey, but congratulations. Uh, comment below, check out Athlean XX for women for more programs just like this one. Thanks for joining me, I'm trainer Amy Jo. Bye-bye.